Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, JMOLS, of JMOLS Gaming. We're back here. On floor 59. Pretty sweet view, don't you think? But we got some unfinished business to do, yeah? We got some business with Shinra to deal with. Let's go deal with it, shall we? So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. I really appreciate it and like how they didn't water down the original themes and motifs of the of Final Fantasy VII. They are keeping with the corporate storyline and social critique. They are keeping with the environmental message they they gave off in the original Final Fantasy VII, and they're not really shying away with from it. And I know that was a kind of a big concern a lot of people had. For Final Fantasy VII Remake when it was first announced. And from the original trailers and stuff. Because they really focused on Sephiroth. And Cloud. And a lot of people thought. Okay well if they're going to do like a retelling. More than anything. That the fear would be they're going to focus too much on Sephiroth. And Cloud's relationship. And kind of shy away. From the other critiques that the game had about society in general. When in actuality. What the game is doing is. Is leaving breadcrumbs about. Cloud and Sephiroth, it giving you a bit more than they had originally, but it's really leaning into the original critiques that the game had about society in general, and it's using its modern technology and modern storytelling devices to further amplify the message, and it's something I can appreciate. Okay, we got the Silver Surfer here. You must be here for our grand tour. Not really. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. Makes sense. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing gotta be such a big pain in the ass? <clears throat> I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Well, obviously. <laughs> If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. I'm with Barrett. Give me my XP phone. Okay, playing the tourist. Let's see how this goes. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, have you ever played Final... <clears throat> Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? Yes, reactor, when you had to scale the skyscraper? Like it reminds me of that. A full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No. It's fine. I brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Okay, Reeve. Show me what you got. We got the Monopoly Man here. Like, straight up, that's a Monopoly man. Give him, like, a freaking top hat and tell me I'm wrong. 60th floor, Memorial Museum. Basically, the floor Shin will kiss its ass on. Okay, but, I'm just saying, just trying to point out. 
Where that loot at, though? President Shinra exhibit? Oh, no. Welcome to Rapture. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our Same thing. Home. Oh, hell no. Huh. Here in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Also, I like how none of the guests up to this point have a have actually questioned Baird's like gun on. I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. Oh, hold on, can I get that freaking skin and wasn't? I'm just saying, just pointing out what we're all thinking. Hold on, but hold on, their loot. Hold on, I'm looking for loot. Hello, Mr. Loot. Hey everybody, how's the grand tour? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Freaking operator from Neo Automata. Like Persona 5? Yeah, I didn't finish freaking toying. I got freaking script. <clears throat> In the words of the great Stephen A. Smith, I have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Freaking Heidegger. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember from the original game. When do we fight Heidegger? I do not remember. Also, how the hell do we freaking pre pre proceed? Okay, we got Dr. Robotnik on the end there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can believe it. These all look so familiar. Cause we've destroyed a bunch of them already. Oh look at that. Oh, remember when we fought that guy? Good times. Yeah, I remember that guy. That guy was out in the freaking basement here. I remember you. Oh, look, it's the grunts. I think they got Ed and Nettie. Also, I'm glad we got, like, Fox from Metal Gear Solid there. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planet is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Yeah, a fine job of that with Fit Contact 7, didn't you? Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. Oh, hold on. Do these holograms actually give out more information? The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Heidegger wouldn't be ta wouldn't talk, would he? The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. Huh. <laughs> okay, so the one guy who's like kind of like uh, above board here is the one that's actually willing to talk. Okay. I see you alternate ways to tell us alternate storytelling techniques. I see you. that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. Okay, then. Hey, would you th would you two jabronis please hurry up and move forward? Okay. Uh... I don't know if there's like a trigger for this or something. Do we gotta look at it? Like what are we doing here? Now moving along, the next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors. As 
well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on. I don't like how inviting this guide is. I don't trust it. This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city. And don't you mean there were only six? <laughs> the Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we've developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A okay, freaking cyberpunk. A testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Okay, if someone not to bear its backstory. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, so let's proceed. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar. Now moving along. Next you'll learn about our progress in the Sounds like a Final Fantasy fourteen title. Please proceed to the sixty first floor, the visual entertainment hall. Oh god, it's movie time. Okay. What is this hallway? Showcase Shinra's cutting edge technology through an immersive visual and audio experience. Oh, God. Please relax and enjoy the show. Please stay and enjoy the show. Yeah, okay. Freaking dictator. Cosmos Theater? Not like Cosmo Wanda, is it? Okay, how extra this bad to be? This place is empty. Distant past, our Holy crap! The people we call the ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had. The ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture too. Yeah, why this cutscene look freaking brilliant though? We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto that bomber, hold on. Shall we one day Bahamut, I need By you. Loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. That joke's on you. Two thousand years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. Oh my god, I think that was the actual landmass from Final Fantasy VII. Did the ancients find their promised land? Even now. Oh, uh, near the freaking... The Desert Place. Oh, God, what was it called? And the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Dude, we're eventually gonna have rooms like this in real life. Are they out there watching us? Waiting for us to join them? Chokes on you, I think that's just Some Battleground. Corner of the world. Or Battlefield. Where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. 
We shall not rest until our dream is realized. That was cool. Probably my favorite cutscene in the game. Dang, that was freaking great. Bear's not impressed. Um, what? That was media. Uh, fire tornadoes? That was Aerith. Hello, Sephiroth. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, turn this track all the way up. Dude, they did such a good job with Sephiroth. Holy crap. Oh, that's the thumbnail. Oh, that's that was awesome. Sephiroth. Oh dear. Oh dear. A man of my refined taste. Can't decide is he penguin or a freaking Dr. Robotnik. Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea. Might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> also, go back to Sephiroth. I think they did, though. <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking fanboying right now. No, it, it couldn't possibly have been. You know, Arnold Palmer move. Crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content, too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Hey, Gem. Hey, teach one of the young, that's my philosophy. Okay. So part of that was part cloud vision, right? Because Tifa and Barrett, I don't think, remember dying. Or Sephiroth. Dude. There's no way all this Sephiroth stuff is just for a build-up to the next game. Sephiroth, I think Sephiroth shows up in, at Shinra at the end of in Final Fantasy VII, the original. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to Kevin? Hmm? I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That, Mayor Domino. The visual entertainment hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. I like this. God, this game's getting so good. Why are we near the end? We're less than three chapters till the end. There's only 18 chapters in this freaking game. Yo, I still have to play Final Fantasy 8, 9, when I'm finished with this. Look at this place. Yo, look at this place. Like freaking Matoya's library. Yo, is that Wally? So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? <sighs> Fun fact, it's actually the same book, just copied repeatedly. <sighs> Comes way way less impressive when you realize that's just like twenty thousand copies of To Kill a Mockingbird. Yo, I'm not even lying. Look at those freaking books. Hocus Pocus. I'm just waiting for Harry Potter to show up. Yo, Quidditch would hit different with Barrett as the Seeker, I'm just saying. Hit everyone with a freaking focus shot. Through here. If 
this is a trap. You're a dead man, you hear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, game. Yeah, I ain't that stupid. The mayor is waiting. Screw you, there's also loot on the other side of here. Where do you think you're going? The mayor can suck one. I'm trying to get some freaking loot. The mayor is waiting. Alright, okay, well, at least we know I'm coming out of here again. Thanks, Alfred. You know, we have goldfish in a bowl. Hello! How'd you guys fall for this, like, really? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <sighs> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Oh, it's Domino. a... Oh, it's You're freaking so Monopoly Man. <laughs> I must say well, it's a lot less like him now. Indiscreet. So he's the one that's been scrubbing our camera footage. Okay. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. You hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> I mean, I like how they address that here. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, chucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archive. <laughs> I love Domino already. Those I like this guy. I like the cut of his jib. I just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. On this episode of Where the Hell Did That Phrase Originate, well, Jeff. This ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor And we'll be cutting lab. it. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You telling me that that's the best you can do? That's exactly what he what we want that him to do. That is indeed the best that I can do. That's like the floor we need to get to. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? <laughs> you look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian. Nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports. That's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. Move. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. Me. You made me a pathetic shell of a man. College. Uh, okay. They did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Abracadabra. Alakazam. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. Oh uh, yeah, that sounds like the 64th, all right. And then what are we supposed to do? Go up, I'm You're assuming. For a fellow avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best. Midgar's mayor is nothing less. I like that sign. Says he's cooler than the rest. Okay, how long is this? Like a novel? Or just like the most whack haiku ever? Mayor to the guy. And if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? Okay, so mayor... If you think you've found the collaborators, say you got it now? Yes. What I really want to go get is that loot that was right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Freaking Dominoes, while you go make a pizza, I'm going to get some fat loot. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. 
If you require additional assistance, please do. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly, I could do just that. But a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? Yes, yeah, sure, I got plan. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got, boys? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude <laughs> and appreciation. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Best 10,000 kill I've ever spent. <laughs> Consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. <laughs> what you got for me? Materia, HP, magic attack. Oh, look at the materia slots. <laughs> Oh, I'm really glad all the freaking extra things of attack power that is completely useless to the EKG. Oh, even more material, isn't that the freaking... Isn't that the funny thing? <laughs> you all didn't think I wouldn't show you what was in here, right? Oh, we got 3,000 gil back. Okay, that's what we'd like to see. That's what we're talking about. A bit of cooperation for the lads. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot? Yo, hold your another level of D-bag. Oh my god. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. Okay. As you, my dear. This dude kind of weird. Elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is. That same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. Thanks, Bad, for the commentary. Late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. Oh, God. Bear at the freaking orator. Orator. Freaking modern day Play Doh. Hey, Maya, 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 Maya. No good? Okay.
Yeah, that's what happens when you drop a city on people. They look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particular team? Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. When support is getting overwhelmed by calls, you'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Thanks, Maya. Also glad no one has noticed the gun arm and the giant sword. Okay, but... Okay, I'm just saying. Just saying. You wanna, like, move out the way? Where are you, Mr. Collaborator? Yeah, just shout that out. We just need to start talking to people who look the part. Remember, say mayor. Thanks, Bet. The best, then we have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. But, before we do any of that crap, we look for loot. As this tradition here. The hell's taking them so damn long? Not seeing anything. On my spy, with my little eye, I'm not spying anything. And this guy's out cold. The mayor. Okay. So we're looking for someone from the 64th floor who came down here to unwind. Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's director. Oh god, okay, here we go. Time for this propaganda. Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable act of terrorism. But at the yeah, same thanks, time, Heidegger. we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wu Tai is gonna attack us again? I have any probably just not because of Avalanche. The rescue ops are going. Okay. Feeling what? Hooked on a feeling? That's the guy. Are you military? Cool, cool. I guess things have been keeping you pretty busy around here. You found the guys who did this yet? The yeah, mayor. mayor. Huh? Uh, what about the mayor? Never mind. Well, thanks for being completely useless to this cause. This dude clearly it. Or not. Never mind, this dude's clearly it. Leave me alone. The mayor. Or not. Okay, who the hell is it? Can't be this dude, right? Is it the barista? I bet it's the barista. Hello there. So, what'll it be for you today? The mayor. Mail? Sorry, we don't have any here. Oh, my God. I'll take a freaking ice coffee with milk. A little bit of mocha. Two pumps of sugar. Yeah, I said pumps of sugar. Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Does training in that thing really make you better? <laughs> Ooh, there's an item shop here. Ooh, hold on. We got some loot. We got some stuff to do, Welcome. people. What would you like? I'd like all of your loot. Give me all of your loot. Okay, you don't have anything unique, really? Hold on, you got some stuff here. Okay, geometric bracelet. Four material slots, okay. But better forbear it. Hmm. Hands material slot. Supreme bracelet. Okay. Rune. Okay. Magic. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. 
Bye bye, one of you. One of you. One of you. Now, let's see what we got here. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. The hell are these things? Um, wrong slot? Yeah, wrong slot. Heavy duty bracelet. So, this is going to be 3 and 13. Why do I think these give stats? I'm an idiot. Okay. Um. Yeah, I may not have anything though. Supreme Bracer is better though. And Heavy Duty Bracer only has three slots anyways. So I guess we go with Supreme. Then you, I want... You have four. If we can keep the four thing going, that'd be better. You have Geometric. You have the Gothic Bangle. Um, honestly, I'm kind of contemplating buying another Supreme Racer. Or do we want to have this? Honestly, give her the Rune Omelette. So she's strong against magic attacks. Just in case we have a boss that uses primarily magic attacks. That's the main thing I'm worrying about in this situation, in this scenario. Okay, let's just save this game data. Any day now. One day, there we go, okay. Move over here. Got Scarlet's theme, cool. Let's just rest up here. And I think I will call it there for today. I'm going to do the combat training probably off camera. Unless something really piques my interest. I don't think it will though. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everybody.